Here's a picture of my little wood burner that I bought at a discount store three, four years ago. Brought it home and installed it and just wasn't too happy with the way it worked. It took a long time to put out some heat. So we started to make some changes. First thing we did was take the fire brick out and throw them away. Cut the bottom out of the stove. Added eight inches to the bottom. Gave us a lot more room for the wood and the ash. And next we closed up the center flue, cut in two new ones and put two magic heats in. They, uh, they really help a lot. It's almost instant heat as soon as you start the fire. They got a fan that's only got one speed, which I didn't like. If you're sitting here watching TV, sitting in the Lazy Boy, petting the cat. They were kind of, it was kind of noisy. So I added a couple switches here. It's on high right now. Switch it to, switch it down to medium. Got a couple light bulbs. They act as a resistor. Cuts the voltage and the amperage to the motors. Made it into a three-speed fan. Works, works very well. Took one of the thermal switches out of one of the units and mounted it up here on the flue so both, both fans turn on at the same time. Got a little heat gauge here. Right now it's running between four and 500 degrees flue temperature. Don't need much fire to put out a, a lot of heat with these magic heats. Also it didn't change uh, the performance of the chimney. It doesn't uh, seem to create it creosote up or plug up. Clean it about once a year. Put some legs on the stove. Brought it up a little higher off the floor. Makes it nicer to look at the fire. And don't have to bend over so far to put the wood in. But the really big change I made was when I changed the way the fire got its air supply. Got, a, got some four inch square tubing and uh, welded that into the bottom of the stove and uh, when you want to start a fire you open up this little door here and it allows a lot of air to rush in and 30 seconds you got a fire started you gotta remember to close her down though it'll give it too much air and it'll overheat and uh, control that automatically I installed a bimetal adjusting mechanism here. As the stove heats up, it'll shut down the gate with the little door and it'll regulate that airflow automatically. Yeah, it works quite well. That's about all I did, I guess, but it really really makes a nice little heating unit for my 2,000 square foot basement. With, got my workshop down here. And, uh, cat sure likes it. Show you around a little bit. I'm using a little cheap Canon pocket camera that I bought about two, three years ago. Brand new for $100. It seems to be working quite well. First time I've tried to use it as making a movie. South Bend Lay. Craftsman Lay over there made by Atlas. Knife grinding machine made by Hatchet. Got a 40 inch bed. There's a paper cutter knife clamped into the machine right now getting ready to sharpen it do a lot of wood chipper knives for the tree cutting people. Normally they'd send them off to Chicago. Kind of turned out to be kind of a part-time job for me just to do them. And I got a little uh, milling machine here.
Here's a standby generator I put together back when the YK2 disaster was going to strike us. It never happened. But I wanted to be safe. And then I also put together a second one, a little bit smaller one with a two cylinder Wisconsin. So this one here had the four cylinder motor. Runs real quiet. Car muffler on it. Just pipe the exhaust out the window. Would have worked real well. Well, I'm going to try to uh, download this onto YouTube. Hope I can smart enough to do it. Hope the comments I get from the people aren't too disastrous. I, uh, it's the first time I've ever tried to do a video. So, uh, thanks for coming along.